Yo, yo, yo. It's your boy, Poe Peasy, a.k.a. Lovely. Welcome to All Love, Big Love, baby. Hey, look. My bad. I ain't been here for a minute. I've been out of town. But I'm back, baby. You hear me? But yeah, man, I'm back, man. Uh, I've been going through a little. Trying to get this business together. You feel me? Learning, like, how to get, like, sell my shit to different companies. Hey, y'all see what you feel me? We loaded. So, peep game today. Story I'm going to tell y'all about. <coughs> With me and one of my SRG niggas, Bandino. <coughs> we were smoking. Some, we, we first smoked this smoke called Underarm Kush. Now, I don't know if y'all heard that before, but back in the day. We used to hear Gucci say that shit all the time. You know what I'm saying? And, and some of his little rap and shit. So. And we used to hear other niggas say, like, you know what I'm saying? Thank you. Just, you know what I'm saying? Just a, a word, another word, but like, that's the stink. You feel me? Nah, it's a big game. My nigga Mandino, his sister, she used to work for Coles. Coles place. She was doing the little, uh, like, the waitress shit. Like, she would go to, uh, uh, what's that called? Uh, Sam's Club and shit. Buy a whole lot of Rellos, black, you know what I'm saying, snacks and shit. And she would go around the club selling them up, you know what I'm saying? She get she get profit for some of that shit, you feel me? So big game. Nigga, she would cover like she would know a whole lot of niggas out. Niggas be used to try to holler at her and shit. Cause she ain't bad looking. So niggas used to try to holler at her and shit. So like they some niggas used to like give her weed, like they be smoking with it. Like, you know how She used to bring different weed in, because what we did, me and, me and my nigga Bandino, we would watch the kids and shit while she go work. She'll bring, sometimes she'll bring us back a pack, sometimes she'll bring us back a big ass sack of weed, you feel me? Us been us at the time, because he was a senior and he was in the 12th grade, he was right graduating and shit. And I was supposed to have already graduated, but my ugly ass dropped out at the time, you feel me? I ended up going back in my GED and shit. I mean, not my GED. Diploma, but it was at this one little school. Some like some tricky niggas made a nigga. They were supposed to throw me out for six months, but a nigga stayed out a whole year type of shit. Whatever, P game. So we was still going to school. I mean, but he was still in school. I was like a year ahead of him type shit. So this nigga had to go to school the next day. So when she came in, like that. that at night, me and this nigga was sitting over there. We had a, a whole lot of little smoke, and we, I think we smoked all that shit. So, by the time we woke up, we like, you, here's what I do. Like, I go over this nigga's house. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I uh, go over there to help either babysit, get that little cheese, or either I have what I have, and then I make a little service and shit. And I have my fucking niece over by the apartment and shit. She used to live over by, uh, I don't know if y'all know, but. Where the uh, old blockbusters used to be on, on Broadway, you feel me? Uh, right there on Broadway, by uh, by the little dentist. It's like a little dentist right there. It looked like a little building, but right now it's an old rally right there. But they used to have blockbuster right there. You feel me? And in the back of that blockbuster, they got them apartments back there. That's what she. That motherfucker used to be cracking, nigga. Like a lot of money made over that bitch. You hear me? But nigga. We used to do a whole lot of shit in that bitch too. I ain't gonna cry and shit. So peep game. Nigga, we watched the kids and shit. Little boy. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Get our little money and shit that night. Next day, cuz, right, go to school and shit, right? She gives us our, our little sack or whatever. She was like, I ain't gonna lie. I don't like this shit. She was like, I begin to have this shit, but she was like, it ain't even that. She was like, this shit stinks. <coughs> we looking at it. Like, like I said, this is what I'm smoking on now. This is why I told this story. So we looking at it like, what do you mean? This nigga, we looks at it. Nigga, that shit smell good as fuck. Look good as fuck, I'm telling you. So we like, nigga, we ready to get loaded real quick. You feel me? You eat, cuz was ready to get on the, what cuz is doing, he'll, he'll get loaded. He'll get on the uh, torque, catch the torque to school. 
I get on the foot and catch the foot and back to the hood. It's like in my bag. Things don't make my little bank sense. But I wasn't doing shit. I was I was 18. Nigga, I was, I was out here just trying to get money, trying, trying to figure out what the fuck I'm going to do now that I'm, that I'm grown. Just let one loose, boy. That's that motherfucking drink. Yeah, man, drink. Hey. But anyway, so this nigga, y'all, we fires up two fat ones, you feel me? We smoking. But we're coughing like a motherfucker, you hear me? It's some gas, cuz, you feel me? Some gas. This nigga, cuz. We smoked, it was, I think he, he put his blood out about like this big type shit. I'm trying to let him in my blood, cuz we like, we rolled up a blunt, but we passed it back and forth, passing it back and forth type shit, you feel me? So, this nigga, y'all. He got. <coughs> this nigga, y'all, was like, here, I'm high, cuz. I don't even want to hit that shit no more. Like, I'm like, damn, you feel me? No, we don't. We don't never, you know what I'm saying? But well, back then, we was the type of nigga, like, we ain't trapping out on no young mommy. You know what I'm saying? Playing a dope shit. Damn, cuz, you feel me? He was like, nah, that ain't nothing. I got to go to school. I'm like, cool. So. We wasn't even thinking nothing of it, cuz, spray something on him. I'm like, here, cuz, let me get some of that shit. He was like, damn, cuz, he said, just had me. He was like, nigga, I didn't chew the whole, the rest of this bottle, the bottle up, cuz it was at the end, so. He was like, I sprayed all that shit, you feel me, so they can't smell the smoke. I'm like, damn. So I ain't have nothing to really, you know what I'm saying, spray on me. So, cuz walks his way. I walk my way, gets on the 27, you feel me, catch the bus back to 18. So when I get on the torque, cause I got I got on the torque over in Victor Park, right there by Victor Park, because I was gonna see it back at the corner store and then Victor was over, but it wasn't. I don't know why I was turning that, but anyway, what? So I get on the torque. Same lady, like it's cool lady, like whenever sometimes you ain't got money and this and that, she'll let you on. But sometimes you got money, she'll be like, Nah, you good, you good, come on, come on, fuck it. Coolest lady, like. It's crazy I ain't seen this lady ever since, but it's the coolest, one of the coolest ladies I ever met, like, in my life, like, they, they rolled the tarp, older lady, you feel me, cool as fuck, like, she's one of those that you would wish was your mama or your granny type shit, one of those cool women that you would like to meet, so, she a little, she let me on the bus and shit, just to get to the point I'm like, cool, but then when I get on the bus, on the truck or whatever, I see motherfuckers looking at me, everybody on my fucking list is like, you feel me type shit. I'm like, what the fuck is motherfuckers looking at? So, it, the, the 22nd for everybody to know, the 22nd is one of those like short torques. Like, you feel me? It's, it's a truck to where it, it may be sit like maybe a good 30 motherfuckers on that, if 30. You feel me? If 30. But anyway, it's, it's the short, shortest torque in the city type shit, the 22nd. So, when motherfuckers getting on this bitch, like I said, that's the reason why I said it's short, because you can smell everything and shit, and you can see everything on this bitch. When motherfuckers getting on, they just looking, looking and shit like, damn, what's that smell? You can tell, damn, what's that smell? Damn, what's that smell? So I'm like, damn. You know what I'm saying? I hope a motherfucker don't hear that. So I'm like, what, what, what are they doing that for? So I get to smelling myself. I just smell like weed to me, you feel me? So I'm like, damn, what the what are they talking about type shit? I just keep, I heard somebody say it smell like weed or something. I'm like, but I know it ain't me. So I get off the torque, goes to the crib. I'm ready to get a little sack together to where, you know what I'm saying? Because I was fucking with the, the, uh, the uh, uh, X-Pills back then. I was selling them motherfuckers, part, little party packs. That's when you're taking like little 20, 10, 20 packs and 10 packs of, of the X-Pills I'm going to sell. So I got a couple packs ready. I'm ready to go sell them, but I'm so fucking high off this shit. By the time I get home, the shit really kicks in, y'all. So I'm loading. Like, nigga, I ain't even know. Like, basically, I fell asleep in my sister's bed. Only, I wasn't even gonna wake up unless, I wouldn't have woke up right then and there unless my mama, and she, my mama wouldn't have came in, but my mama comes in. She tells me, she said, hey, boy, get your ass up. I'm like, what are, you, what are you talking about? What are you doing? I'm over asleep. She was like, hell nah. So she said, get your ass up. She said, your ass smell like feet. You need to go in there. You smell like feet and underwear. You need to take your ass in there and take a bath. Like when she said it, you could tell she was dead motherfucking 
serious, nigga. Like, had an attitude, kind of had an attitude with it. Like, nigga, get the fuck up going there and take a bath, nigga. You stink. Like, get the fuck out. I said, mama, what you talking about? I'm, trying to, I'm smelling myself and shit. I said, boy, it must be that fucking weed. So I'm like, mama, that's the weed, because I know it ain't me. Like, I got brand new socks on, brand new drawers on. Well, you know what I'm saying? I slept over cousin house and shit, then I came back. But all that shit I had on, like most of the shit I had on back then, you know, around that time was brand new, you feel me? So I'm like, nah, man, that's the weed. That's the weed. What are you talking about, mama? I said, I go take a bath or whatever, but that ain't me smelling like that. That's the weed. I started laughing. She said, hell no, nah, that ain't no motherfucking weed, bro. She said, get, I ain't never smelled that. That's weed. I ain't even not smoking that shit. She said, that shit stinks. So, nigga, I guess I'm gonna take a bath and shit, but, nigga, I, cause what's so fucked up? Cuz, called me said, nigga, when I got on the torch, the same shit happened to me, nigga. I get some school. A couple of my, I see a couple of motherfuckers doing the same shit, so if it wasn't for my nigga Deez, Deez was like, we always, everybody, you know what I'm saying, keep a little extra spray, spray can on them when they go to school. Just in, like, cause we had gym class and shit, so we just had to get that sweat off of us and, up, you feel me? But yeah, man. <coughs> that was my story about when I first smoked that motherfucking underworld cut. Nigga, and I, and, I, and I got the blues from the torque and my mom, really from my mom, you feel me? But the torque was like, damn, 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 you feel me? But that's what that shit is for anybody that ever smoked that shit. That shit look good, smell good, smoke good, get you high as fuck, but when another motherfucker smelling you, they smelling underarms, nigga. Underarms and feet. Like, a nigga took that shit and rubbed it on their underarms and, 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 and it's still gas. I don't know. You feel me? I don't fucking know what they, but nigga, I ain't gonna lie. It's gas, but nigga, your body odor is not gonna be no nigga. You feel me? I'm telling you. You feel me? But it's a good ass strand to smoke. I ain't gonna lie. Like, I like this shit. You feel me? Yeah, I'm smoking that shit in a, a, a hemp. Some hemp. Uh, it really don't smell that bad to me. It smells lovely, like like me. You feel it smell lovely, but I oh, don't know. You know what I'm saying? It's your boy Pope P. Hey man, y'all like, subscribe, get in, hit that notification bell, get in them comments, man. I'ma have way more content coming up, man. I just I'm telling y'all niggas. Matter of fact, I might just press one of them. You feel me? Like, tune in. You feel me? Real nigga. All love, big love, baby.